Today we get spooky with a box from Japan. What is up everyone? We are back with another episode of Spooky Week. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the ghost rare searches. And I decided to go with a really cool product that I'm super excited to open up. I have opened this up one time before in the past. It's been quite a while. Rarity collection, but not our rarity collection that you guys have known, Rarity Collection 1 and 2 from the English version. This is a Japanese product that came out well before ours. This is a 20th anniversary edition, so that means it was somewhere between 20, 21, 22, 23, or 24 years, because that's how they do their rarity collections in their 25th anniversary. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just a joke. I don't actually know how old it is, but this does have a potential ghost rare Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. This came out before our Ghost from the Past version. This is the original. It also comes with Holographic Rare. That's the Ghost Rare. Extra Secret Rare, Ultimate Rare, Ultra Rare, Super Rare Secret Rare, and Collector's Rare. Gonna be a super fun opening. I don't remember what's in here. I do know there's a Ghost Rare chance, so it's gonna be a little spooky. I'm very excited. I've been excited about this one. I had to order these all the way from Japan, so a long way away. Before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three Retro Pack 2 Supers. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below. What do you like about the Japanese Rarity Collection versus ours? Let's get to the opening. Okay, so I have two boxes, which means 30 packs inside. Potential Ghost Rare. They are not guaranteed in a box, so if we do get it, we got lucky. So hopefully we do get our first Ghost Rare uh, well, our first Ghost Rare that's not Haunted Mine, let's just say that. Because we did get some Haunted Mine Ghost Rares. So we were guaranteed to get some Ghost Rares, but we haven't gotten one that's not guaranteed yet. So that would be really fun. Here we go. If you guys have not seen the other episodes of Spooky Week, go check those out. I'll have a playlist on the screen. It'll be in the end card as well. So you guys can go see those episodes and see what we get. And yes, my voice is still weird for the last month. I don't know what is going on, but I'm going to keep chugging through. Just got to keep going. I don't exactly get to uh, rest it very often because we always got to record videos and do live streams. So uh, yeah, let's just let's just go into it. Let's see what we can get. That's a Dark dark Lord card, I think. Daikusto Emerald, Cyframe Lord Omega. There's only four cards per pack. So it's a Ghost Bell. Spooky Dogwood, maybe? Is this, no? Re winter Cherries. There we go. Yeah, Winter Cherries. So as you can see, it's not like crazy old, this, this pack. I mean, obviously it has like the Ghost Girls in it. So I think it was maybe like a 2020-ish release, something like that. Maybe 2019, 2018, something like that. Maybe before 2020, I think. Macro Cosmos. Let's see what we get. These are a little warped. So uh, yeah, you know, they came from Japan. Uh, so uh, long, long trip. Silver Calcos, Blaze Man, and Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, I believe. So far, a little bit, a little bit of spooky because that Crystal Wing is a Ghost Rare in our uh, Ghost from the Past. I think this could be partially where we got our first Ghost from the Past, but I could be wrong about that because it does have two of the Ghost Rares in here so far. We'll try to see if there's any more similarities as we go. This has more like general reprints though. Yuna Zombie, that may or may not be in there. Okay, we might have gotten our first, uh, looks like maybe a Collector Rare back there. Let's see, Intus. And a Pot of Desires. I wish these weren't so warped. Check that out. Oh my goodness, that's super warped. The thing is, you can put this under like books, put it in binders, that helps a lot. But Pot of Desires Collector Rare is really beautiful. The Japanese Collector Rare, first of all, looks a million times better than ours, unfortunately. Unfortunately, though, it's a little warped. And I think that could have been from just being in certain packages. But as you can tell, like the cards beforehand are warped. Let's hope even if we get a ghost rare, it'll be, you know, you just put something, you know, put it in a binder, it'll be fine. And it won't get, uh, you know, too warped. Because warping, you can usually fix. Ghost Rick Dullahan, I believe. Twin Twisters, we have a Pendulum card, Gross, and Rafflesia. All right, so one high rarity card so far. So Extra Secret Rare, I believe, is a rarity that we don't have. It kind of looks like Platinum Rare, like the new Platinum Rare, Rarity 2, but it's like it's like super shiny. We have Foolish Burial. Let's see if we can get a really... There's no QCRs in here because they didn't exist yet. Okay, that is... What is that? That's an Extra Secret Rare. There we go. It kind of looks like a QCR in a way, but it's like diagonal and obviously no stamp. Kind of more like a Starlight Rare where they turn it. So instead of this way, it's that way, but it's not as shiny as that. So it looks pretty nice, I would say, but not overly crazy. Um, definitely not as pretty as the Starlight, I would say, but it does look good. The warp is making it hard to shine these two all at once because they're all kind of like bowed in. Okay, Unizombie. We've got Chicken Game. Okay. And I don't know that card. And that looks like an alternate artwork. I think that's an alt art. Uh, just based on this sword about to chop a dude, that seems like, a, yeah, an alternate artwork. So far, we have an extra secret rare, and we have a collector rare. Uh, and we have ultra rares and super rares and stuff like that. Let's see, what else do we have? Ultimate rare, potentially. Holographic rare. Those are kind of the other ones, I think, that we don't have. No, no secret rares yet, are there? Just regular secrets. Twin Twisters, we have Macrocosmos, uh, TG Wonder Magician, 
and a solemn strike so a lot of great cards i remember when i first opened this you guys can watch my old video go check it out if you haven't seen it uh i kind of want to go back and watch it but i guarantee i was probably like wow all these rarities this is so cool you know it was before we had it i was like wow this would be really cool if we had it and now we have two of them make it three coming up next week the bonanza is coming out if you guys haven't ordered yours yet go check out the link down below get five percent off using my code with sassy adults an affiliate link with me it's gonna be an amazing set if you guys haven't seen the releases and the uh spoilers yet it's gonna be an amazing set it's gonna be really good coral dragon uh card of device and another collector rare yeah uh, ultimate Tol Tolzine or something? I can't remember how you say it, but uh, yeah, that guy. He's a Docs promo in the European print, and he is a he's a promo in what what is ours? Core, I think. Yeah, yeah, in Clash of Rebellion. All right, a few more packs in this box. Let's keep it up. Can we? Oh man, can we get a Ghost Rare in here? We've got Sneezy going on in the background, uh, Foolish Burial, and uh, Silent Magician. All right, maybe that'll maybe that'll bring out the Ghost Rare. A little sneeze. Rarity collection, uh, 20th anniversary collection, collection. Can you give us a ghost rare for our collection? Because I do not have this one. I mean, I haven't really started the Japanese. But as you can tell, these are all like every card and every rarity as well, except the ghost rare. So every card and every rarity in the ghost rare is only in ghost rare, the blue eyes alternative white dragon. So hopefully we can get that one. And there we go, Arch Lord. And there's our first secret rare, I think. The Upstart Goblin does not come up, come up very often in these. Secret rares are a lot rarer. Our, our rarity collection actually made it a lot easier to pull like ultra secrets and really just in general. And here it's like there's one slot. So it's like super, super, super and then you get something and ours it's like you know every other slot it's like this slot could be a super rare this slot could be ultra or it could be ultimate or it could be collector rare. you know it's like and then the next one is the same thing so we actually the pull rates are actually worse for uh japan here which is interesting uh they still do give you a few per box though which is pretty good total oh it's not warped the ultimate rare ash blossom okay the prismatic ultimate rare ash blossom that's pretty nice that is pretty nice and it's not really that warped it's a little warped but compared to the rest not too crazy that is an amazing pull that was pretty big when it first came out okay two packs left we still have another box guys so spooky week it's getting a little spooky with the ash blossom feet feet edition but it could get a lot more spooky if we get that ghost rare so, so far, hopefully you guys have enjoyed Spooky Week. I think this should be day four, assuming everything comes out on time in the right order. So day four out of five. So tomorrow will be the Halloween episode. It's going to be extra long. So, so it's going to be fun. So keep an eye out for that Halloween episode. It's got, it's got a lot to open, a lot to open. There may or may not be a fun costume I'll be wearing. It's going to be interesting. Okay, box number two. So box number one had an Ash Ultimate Rare, which is really good. Did not have a Ghost Rare, though. So unfortunately... That is the case there. Let's go into the next box. Let's see what we can do. Five packs here. Let's shuffle them up. Let's see if we can get that ghost rare. Let's make it spooky. Let's get scared just like the mat right here, which, by the way, is available on Whatnot. If you guys haven't checked it out, click the link in the description for Whatnot. Uh, you get $15 free credit. You can use towards your mat. You get a $10 mat, so it's really great for you guys. You get a big discount. Uh, it's also uh, an affiliate link if you guys use that one not go find me on there go follow me we do a lot of streams over there it's super fun and another announcement uh if you guys are seeing this on the 30th pecanio moth goes away in two days tomorrow will be the last day on halloween to get your pecanio moth mat so if you guys want to get it it's never coming back so now's your chance go grab it on ruxin 34com it's linked in the description Okay, there is a Archlord, uh, not an Archlord, a Dark Lord, Ichthel, I feel like is the name, but that could be a different one, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Collector Rare, right off the bat, great start. Rarity Collection, 20th anniversary, here we go. Can we get some amazing pulls right here? Let's see if we can pull something crazy like a Ghost Rare. We have, oh, oh we got a Ding Corner, oh no, both corners. That is indeed spooky, oh. Oh no, bottom corner, big ding. Bottom right corner, big ding. Bottom left corner, big ding. Oh man, Pot of Desires, that's a great card too. Huge bummer on that one. Pot of Desires, oh, our ultimate rare is dinged up. That hurts. That definitely hurts, but you know what can make up for that? A ghost rare, most alternative white dragon. Yes, I asked for spooky. And we got spooky, everybody. That was scary. Macrocosmos, Wonder Magician. 
And we got another, I, that's gotta be ultimate offering, right? No, ultimate offering is a trap. What is that then? Somebody tell me the name of that card. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Spooky week has had some ups and downs and that is definitely a big down right there. We have Digustorm. Well, let's, let's get something good to make up for it. Silver Calcos, Ghost of Dullahan. And a secret rare Solemn Strike. So great card, great card, but not exactly helping us with our dilemma of damage ultimate rare. Konami, I would like a refund. Refund my card. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, Macrocosmos, that's not happening. Silvory Calcos, yeah, Blazeman. And Ghost Trick, not Ghost Trick, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. Still a bunch of packs left, still a lot of chances. I don't know the actual ratio. I'm guessing it's like one in a case or something like that for the Ghost Rare. But I don't know. I don't even know if they do 12 a case in here, but like, they could. Here we go. Twin Twisters. We've got the Pendulum something. And the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Yeah, the Crystal Wing. Yeah, because Clear Wing is the one from the orange set uh, called... You know, what's that orange set called? I can't remember. Uh, it came out in like 2016, 20, no, 2015. Foolish Burial, we have Cyframe Lord Omega. We have Blazeman, Blazeman, and our Paul Parallel, not Platinum, Parallel Chimera Tech Over Dragon, maybe, or something. Chim no, Chimera Tech Mega Fleet or something like that. Over Dragon is just the Edison one. Okay, nice card. What was that set called? Clear Wing Synchro Dragon is from the orange set called. This is bad. I can't. How can I not remember this? We haven't opened it in an actual long time. That's probably why. Cyframe Lord, except for in the every pack opening, which by the way, if you guys didn't see it, go check out the every pack opening. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen it, but a lot of you guys haven't. We open every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. It's like a really long video. So if you like long videos, go check it out. Here we go. What is that set called? It's it's right on the tip of my tongue. Right on the tip of my tongue. What's it called? We got Tatsunecro, Cosmo, uh, Intis, and another one of those guys. I keep pulling that card. Man, what is the name of that set? That's just... It's spooky how I can't remember what the name of this set is. Man, spooky week. Really getting to me. Damaged guards, can't remember anything. Yes, I know, the other day. Has this been doing this the whole time? Has it been going in and out the whole time? That's going to be annoying. I'm sorry, guys, if it's been doing that. That's going to be really obnoxious. Uh, so, sorry about that, if it has. Uh, I don't know what's going I think this mat might actually be part of it. Just not focusing in on it. Ghost Rick Delahan. And a Silent Magician. Okay, so you're going to get a few packs opened with a normal focus. Ah, uh, technical difficulties. How great. Uh, already one of my monitors just not working all of a sudden. So I have a bl uh, just a blank monitor over here. I think it's the, the display cable or whatever, but I'm going to have to find out when I get another one. Graphic screener, and we've got rum. A rum card, collector rare. Okay, very cool. Still no ghost rare. It's spooky how this is just, everything is just going wrong today. It is a little spooky. Spooky week is really fulfilling its name. Macrocosmos, Rum, TG Wonder Magician, and Solemn Strike. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, if it is going in and out, like, you guys are stuck with it. Because guess what? I don't have any more of these packs because I had to order them from Japan. And they don't exactly show up that quickly. I can't, they're not Amazon one day delivery, you know. Okay, two more packs. Guys, send us some luck. Send us some luck in the comments. Something not spooky, maybe? Something exciting? Oh, we do want to pull the spooky card. We have Dark Lord. And we have Trap Tricks of Fleezia, leaving us with one final pack. Will we get the Ghost Rare right here? Send us some luck. Subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com. Check out Whatnot for the amazing play mat, which apparently you can't focus if you have a camera. Also, check out the Petite Moth mat, which is going to be gone very soon. And tomorrow, we're going to have our Halloween special, which will be a very long video. Hopefully, we'll get everything fixed by then. And uh, yeah, it's going to be super fun. If you guys missed the other Spooky Week episodes, go check them out. Here we go. Last pack magic. Ghost Rare time. The Seal of Orichalcos and our last card of the day. Is a silent magician. So, rhyme style favorite, but unfortunately, not the ghost rare we're looking for. So, tomorrow's gonna have to be the day where we pull the random ghost rare. Shout out to Tom Fo Show and Nestor Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.